radiator cooling fan system check select engine select cooling system select cattle VM select diagnostic information and procedure then select radiator cooling fan system check first we will connect the SDT to the vehicle and then the ignition is turned on radiator cooling fan low speed operation check using SDT2 connect the SDT and check uh, turn on the ignition check for any DTC if any DTC is available clear the DTC select radiator fan function in active test check radiator cooling fan operation at a low and high mode if any abnormality found check the cooling fan control system First clear all DTC. Then select active test. Select the radiator fan. Start. The conditions. Vehicle stop, accelerator pedal release, colon temperature below 110 degree Celsius, no DTC, AC switch off. Parameters are okay. Press execute. Turn on low speed. Fan is not working. High speed. Fan is not working. Both of the low speed and high speed check bad. Next we will uh, check the uh, radiator cooling fan number one power supply circuit number one relay power supply circuit uh, set ignition off and uh, remove radiator cooling fan relay number one from individual circuit fuse box number one check for proper connection to radiator cooling fan relay at uh, each terminal which uh, at uh, number one uh, at each terminal if okay measure the voltage between a1 circuit and the ground is it 10 to 40 volt uh, this is the number one uh, relay for the radiator fan and the location is uh, this is the a1 circuit uh, from a fused relay the uh, wire color is gray for finding A1 circuit, we will uh, need to go body cap and accessories. Select cooling system circuit diagram. And this is the uh, number one relay circuit. 
Heaven circuit is grey color. Uh, for uh, coupler number E triple two. And we will go to body cab accessories. Select a list of connector, then select E connector. A triple two uh, coupler pin number four. Check the battery voltage first. 12.5H then check the uh, connect the lead wire to number 1 power supply pin number 4 and check for the battery voltage and it found same as the battery voltage and the power supply is good next uh, radiator cooling fan relay number 1 check Select the uh, relay inspection page. Disconnect. Disconnect the relay to be checked. Check that there is no continuity between terminal number 3 and 4. Okay. 3 and 4, uh, the copper color terminal. Connect the lead wire to three and four terminal and check for continuity there is no continuity that means uh, the uh, switching point is good next measure the resistance between terminal number one and two the resistance of the relay is 170 ohm at 20 degrees celsius uh, this is the 1 and 2 terminal silver color this is the winding point check the lead wire resistance connect the lead wire to pin number 1 and 2 for checking resistance found 172 point 3 ohm and it good. Next, uh, connect the battery positive terminal and negative terminal to a relay as shown in figure and check for continuity between terminal number 3 and 4. If there is no continuity when the relay is connected to the battery, replace relay. Select the multimeter to continuity range then connect the relay to battery continuity found and the relay is good select the cooling system circuits next we will check to the radiator cooling fan motor dry circuit low speed Set ignition off and disconnect the radiator cooling fan motor connector. Check proper connection to radiator cooling fan motor at each terminal. If OK, check the resistance of B1 circuit. It is uh, less than 1 ohm or less. Resistance between B1 circuit and ground infinity. Voltage of B1 circuit are approximately 0 volt when ignition is turned on. This is a B1 circuit from our relay number 1 to radiator fan. The wire color is blue. We need to check the resistance between this point to this point. Our location in relay box is terminal number 5. This is the uh, location of terminal number 5. Hello? Disconnect the 
cooling fan motor connector from fan check the lead wire resistance at front of 1 ohm connect the lead wire to b1 circuit uh, terminal number 5 in relay relay box connect the uh, other point to blue wire and the resistance is 1.1 uh, and the resistance is good next uh, check the uh, resistance between uh, b1 circuit and ground disconnect the lead wire from relay box and check with the body the infinity the good uh, connect the negative terminal and turn on the ignition and the check check the voltage between the b1 circuit and ground Zero point zero two volt. It's good. That means uh, the circuit is good. Next, we will check to the radiator cooling fan motor ground circuit. Make sure the resistance between C1 circuit and ground. If the resistance is uh, one or more less, uh, this is the circuit. C1 circuit is black color wire check the lead wire resistance no, it's point 0.9 connect the lead wire to C1 circuit that is black color wire and body there is no uh, resistance that means infinity that means uh, the connection is open 